Hi, my name is Patricia McClellan Terrell and I write under the pen name P.M. Terrell. And today I'd like to tell you another inside story about my book, April in the Back of Beyond. In my first video, I talked about the true story that inspired the, um, the plot line in April in the Back of Beyond regarding the murder of two young boys. Well, there is another true um, thread that winds its way through the book. The main character, Haley Hunter, is named after my two grandchildren, Haley and Hunter. I took their, their first, and, first names and made them first and last. And um, in the book, Haley is a writer that is researching her uh, family genealogy and is writing a historical book uh, based on her ancestors migration from Scotland to Ulster and that ancestor in the book became involved in O'Doherty's Rebellion. Well these scenes are actually based on my creative nonfiction book Checkmate Clans and Castles and that was released in 2017 by Drake Valley Press and it is based on the true story of my own ancestor, William Neely, who left Scotland for Ulster in 1608. And he arrived in Ulster with William Stewart, uh, who was a captain at that time, and their land bordered the Inish Owen Peninsula, which um, was ruled by Kerr O'Doherty and had been ruled by the O'Doherty clan for over a thousand years. They were separated from the peninsula only by uh, the lake that runs in between uh, their land and William Stewart's land. And um, when Kerr O'Doherty set fire to Derry and killed um, the, the person in charge of that city at that time, it would begin O'Doherty's Rebellion, and Kerr would become the last Gaelic king of Ireland. When um, O'Doherty's Rebellion began, my ancestor had to decide whether to fight on the side of King James, uh, and he was King James the first of England, King James the Fourth of Scotland. Or um, he found out through a twist that um, before the Neely family lived in Scotland, they had lived in Ireland and possibly, possibly had lived in Ireland for much longer than they had ever been in Scotland. And through another twist, uh, the family was from um, County Donegal and the Inishowen Peninsula is part of that county. Checkmate was um, the result of painstaking research and throughout the book I, I show writers and readers alike what I go through in order to um, to write my books, especially my historical books. And uh, throughout Haley Hunter is um, is beginning with um, internet searches. In fact, she's done a lot of that while she was in America. And then she um, created relationships, uh, got in touch with historians, archeologists, um, people in universities who would know the history of Ireland because there is so much misinformation on the internet. And uh, like the writer in my book, uh, I traveled to Ireland and met with people in person to verify the facts that I had and actually to gain more facts. And there's absolutely nothing that takes the place of standing on the exact battlefield that you're writing about. Um, and in fact, in Ireland, uh, many of these battlefields look, if not identical, just very similar to the way that they were um, three or four hundred years ago. 
Well, the, the Battle of Derry depicted in um, checkmate clans and castles and, and also um, talked about in April in the back of beyond would not be the first battle and far from the last. Derry was burned to the ground and the English decided to rebuild it, but they were, um, let's say that they didn't have enough money to rebuild it, so they held uh, fundraisers in London, and the wealthiest among them uh, donated money in order to rebuild this, and because the money was coming from London, they uh, changed the name to London Dairy. Uh, today it's known as the Slash City <laughs> because it's Dairy Slash London Dairy. Um, people that are loyal to Britain, uh, mostly Protestants, and they are known as Unionist or Loyalist, um, they refer to the city as London Dairy because they uh, identify more with the United Kingdom and with London. And those fighting for a united Ireland uh, predominantly Catholics, but not necessarily all Catholic. They are known also as Republicans or Nationalists. They want to join the Republic of Ireland. Um, and they refer to the city as Derry because it had been Derry for well over a thousand years before um, the British rebuilt it and renamed it London Derry um, after the Battle of 1608. Well, the ideological war um, between the two factions was originally those loyal to Britain versus those loyal to Ireland, but zealous um, preachers and priests uh, began to uh, fire up their congregations against the other side, and so the, um, the war really morphed into a religious war between Catholics and Protestants. Um, all of this information is, uh, is true as it's threaded through um, my mystery suspense, um, April in the Back of Beyond, and I stayed as close to the facts as I could possibly do uh, with my historical book, Checkmate, Clans, and Castles. During the, uh, the writing of this book, um, tensions actually increased in Ulster. And Ulster is a, um, a several counties in the north that when the Irish voted whether to stay with Britain or form the Republic of Ireland, um, there were more Protestants at that time in Ulster, plus they did not allow Catholics to vote. So those counties um, wanted to stay with Britain and the I island of Ireland was divided into Ireland, which is the Republic, and which is a sovereign country, and Northern Ireland, which is a part of the United Kingdom. The, um, the tensions increased while I was writing April in the Back of Beyond because of Brexit. And um, there have been some violent clashes, including um, the, the death of a journalist who was covering one of the clashes in Derry slash London Derry. And um, these clashes, um, they, they are part of Brexit because there once was a hard border um, along the, the lines of Northern Ireland and Ireland and checkpoints where people who were going back and forth had to stop um, and, and possibly be searched by the guards and um, there were a lot of rumors about some very heavy handedness and a lot of um, atrocities that occurred on those borders and because of Brexit they are looking at reinstating those borders. They were taken down after the um, the peace agreement of 1998 which was led uh, partially by President Bill Clinton and um, and others, you know, of course, within uh, Ireland and England that facilitated that peace agreement. But it has been an uneasy peace. In some areas, a lot of progress has been made. 
in others there is still um, a great deal of segregation and um, and of course if you travel to Ireland Northern Ireland today and you uh, journey to Belfast if you arrive there by bus you're likely to arrive in the um, underneath the hotel that um, is was the most bombed hotel in the world prior to um, uh, Baghdad and the War of Iraq and you can also um, take a tour throughout Belfast um, that includes the what they call the peace walls um, where a lot of people have um, have drawn um, you know some say it's graffiti and others that it's art and also things um, you know championing peace but that wall those set of walls are also um, what keeps the Catholics and the Protestants apart um, for the the most part so that is um, the the second bit of truth that is in April in the back of beyond um, as Haley Hunter is researching she decides to uh, stay in a cottage in the Republic of Ireland which is a distance away from uh, the Inishowen Peninsula. Um, prior to that she had stayed in Northern Ireland but they have the tensions rising there and also uh, the places that she goes to the castles, um, the, the battlefields, um, those are all places that are, are true locations of scenes that occurred in 1608 in O'Doherty's Rebellion. Um, if you like this video, please hit like and uh, follow my YouTube channel. And also my uh, website is pmtyrell.com. You'll find a lot of articles there about the inside stories of each of my books. And I hope that you will um, join me there and also um, that you'll purchase April in the Back of Beyond. It is available in both ebook, all ebook formats, and in paperback. Thank you.